will now begin our award ceremony. A detailed description of the award is included in the digital ad journal. We'll start with the Healthy Lifestyles Project Heroes Award. Healthy Lifestyles Project Heroes Award. The New Jersey Statewide Self-Advocacy Network is proud to present the 2022 HLP Heroes Award to Kim Triana Nolan. The Healthy Lifestyles Project Heroes Award is reserved for a person who supports the mission of the NJSSAN and encourages self-advocacy in their work. Kim Triana Nolan is being recognized for her contribution contribution to the project's virtual programming for adults with intellectual developmental disabilities made possible due to the Healthy Lifestyles Project, grant generously awarded by the Horizon Foundation for New Jersey. On behalf of everyone at the Ark of New Jersey, the New Jersey Self-Advocacy Project and Statewide Self-Advocacy Network, congratulates and thanks you for the amazing work that you do you, Kim. Now I'd like to invite Kim to address the audience. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to thank you so much for this award. I was um, so very touched by it, and it, I did not expect it at all. And I um, am just humbled by it. And so um, proud to be a part of this gathering today and um, this very special day for all of you. Um, I'd like to thank Ashley and Erin and Frankie. Um, they've been great supports to me um, as I provide the virtual workshops of art therapy to all the participants um, from you know, just the technical aspect of it, um, introducing me to all the, the group members as we do art therapy and just being open to the idea of something new and introducing art therapy to the members. Um, and mostly I'd like to thank all the, the um, participants and, uh, and everyone that um, has come out month after month to experience art therapy, be open to the idea and, and be vulnerable to share your thoughts and emotions um, around your creativity. Thank you for the beautiful award. It's amazing. Thank you, Kim, and congratulations again. Evelyn, here we go. Jane Miller Memorial Leadership Award, Julia Simcoe. A member of Council 3 of the New Jersey Statewide Self-Advocacy Network and the 2022 recipient of the Jane Miller Leadership Award. Julia is a strong, talented advocate and a person who goes above and beyond to fulfill her responsibilities and representative of the New Jersey Statewide Self-Advocacy Network. Julie's long-standing commitment and dedication to the self-advocacy movement are well known. Julie has participated in legislative hearings on, the, on important topics and has served as a panelist and a speaker at various events, highlighting best practices and supporting self-advocacy. Julie never shies away from speaking up for what is right. She has worked for years to make things better for people with intellectual developmental disabilities. We are happy to acknowledge that work today. Congratulations, Julia. Julia Simcoe, my friend. Thanks, Evelyn. Um, I would like to thank the Academy. Whoops, wrong speech. <laughs> I would like to thank the members of the New Jersey Statewide Self-Advocacy Network for nominating me um, and for being so great at what you do. Erin Smithers for being such an amazing support and helping me build up the confidence to speak with legislators. Ashley 
for taking time out of her busy schedule to talk with me a bit alongside Erin about a controversial bill that was introduced last year, I believe. Frankie Bayek for making sure all things media and communication aren't miscommunicated and are put together property, properly. And all the members of the advisory board for planning the annual luncheons, conferences, and putting advocacy campaigns together. I wouldn't be here without all of you. The New Jersey Statewide Self-Advocacy Network consists of several councils that have members with IDD who demands a seat at the table when legislation that has an impact of, on our lives is being considered. And we teach people who do not have IDD how to be anti-ableist. We get together to talk about ways that parents can support their adult children while considering alternatives to guardianship. We point out problems we see regarding transportation that can make it difficult to get out and do things. And we make sure that legislators know how essential the work that direct support professionals get done is and how they need to get paid a wage that they can comfortably live off. Um, the conferences and luncheons. Okay, I remember when I was in my late teens and early 20s, how confusing everything going on in life was. I was hungry to know why all these people sat at a table every so often while I was sitting there signing a paper to say that I was in attendance, and even though I wasn't usually included in the conversation going on about me. I remember how frustrated I felt that most of the questions I had regarding the services I received seemed to annoy people. I remember attending the conferences and a couple of luncheons held by the New Jersey Statewide Self-Advocacy Network without getting the chance to attend any of the council three meetings. And I remember applying to participate in partners in policy making two times without having been accepted. The conferences and luncheons were great, but it wasn't fun to not to only have the opportunity to really feel listened to and understood those couple of times a year. Now, I had it easier than some other people out there. I had all my basic needs want, met and I was safe and living in a nice apartment. And I had the friends at the community college, but I didn't really understand how my services worked until I applied to partners in policymaking a third time and was accepted for the 2019-2020 academic year. I learned a lot in partners in policymaking that helped give me the push to begin attending the council three meetings. As I developed a circle of friends and we all talked about what improvements need to be implemented to advance policymaking to empower the lives of individuals with IDD, there seemed to be more of a purpose. On that note, I would like to end by giving you all a challenge. Look for one annual program that you don't think you can be accepted into and apply to it every year for five years. You may be very surprised on what you can accomplish. I would like to thank Erin, Ashley, members of the advisory board and members, members of the councils again for this award. Have a great luncheon, everyone, and thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Congratulations, Julia, from your best friend. Okay, now we will get to the key contributor award. The key contributor is reserved for a self-advocate who has shown outstanding dedication in attending a variety of self-advocacy virtual programming over the past year. Adam Fielder has done just that. Adam is a frequent attendee at the bi-weekly HLP live events as well as the Brain Game sessions and the Stay Healthy at Home weekly webinar series. Adam brings a tremendous amount of energy, humor, and joy to the sessions he attends. He inspires other participants to engage in activities. He poses questions that show desire to learn about a variety of topics and is curious and professional in his interactions with fellow advocates and staff alike. Adam's dedication to attending the virtual sessions is unmatched. He has joined HLP Live from his phone during his ride home from work. Congratulations, Adam, and thank you. We will now highlight your video and ask you to unmute if you have a few things to say. 
Take what is a word. Take away some classes. I need a lot and to do a gym. Thank you. Thank you, Adam, and congratulations. Prime Player Award. The Prime Player Award is reserved for an individual self-advocate or a self-advocacy group that has shown great creativity, enthusiasm, and team spirit during our weekly brain game session. Participants and staff from the Arc of Middlesex County Carteret Career Center have brought so much energy, humor, and zest to the weekly brain game session. We appreciate your engagement and frequent participation. Your energy and presence inspires other advocates to engage in the games. The group is respectful to other participants who join the session. They encourage everyone to speak their mind, share answers, and move the game along. The group clearly favors word games, but they are always open to trying new things and learning new games. To all the amazing participants and the staff of the ARC of Middlesex County Carteret Career Center, congratulations. We will now spotlight your video and ask you to unmute and say a few words. Hi, this is Sharon Bunton. Can you hear me? I can hear. Hi, this is Sharon yeah. Bunton. I'm the uh, Assistant Director at the Art Middlesex County and the Carteret Career Center is under me. And we are just so delightful that you nominated us for this, this um, award. Our participants enjoy it. Our staff, they get a kick out of doing it. Every time it comes in, they are the first one to, to, um, to join and to sign up. So thank you on behalf of our CEO, Frank Adu, and all of our participants at the Carteret Career Center, thank you so much. Thank you, Carteret Career Center, and congratulations once again. Congratulations again to all the 2022 award winners. Let's make a mo take a moment to give everyone a huge round of applause. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations.